What up, YouTube family? So, the reason why I'm making this video, because I got me a new solar battery. Now, I wouldn't say per se new. This battery been out for a year. I thought I was gonna get the Jackery. Um, as always, Jackery's being greedy. I mean, after all, they was making phones for Apple, so you have that there. Um, and they always want their technology to be so-called proprietary, to where only they would uh were well, you gonna use their solar panels and stuff i didn't like that so i went to go search around and there's a lot of deals i was on um black friday and it was a very hard decision it was not easy it was a it was a very very hard decision i mean man i had to look at several different batteries um so the one i actually end up falling on was the eco and that's this one right here as you can see it should show somewhere up on the screen. But that's the EcoFlow Delta Max. Now, right now they have it on Christmas sale for $15.99. During Black Friday, and along with uh, Hobotex code, which I thank him for that, his Black Friday code, I was able to get this for 1000 So I got it literally 50% off during the holiday season. Um, so that was amazing. Um, I got the Delta Max 2000 version. I didn't want the 1600 for a reason because I already got a thousand watt hour solar battery. So yeah, only reason why I got this is because the Jackery that I have right now, the older Jackery model, charges at only 141 watts at the highest, which is stupid. My older Jackery I had before was charging at almost 200 watts, but some of the ports broke on that, and these new newer versions claim to have MPPT controllers. I'm at a hotel right now uh, and and basically they're psh, they charge super super slow so forget that so let me show you the other one let me show Amazon I got more detail let me show you that one right there I'm looking up at this big computer screen that's why okay so on this one we got this is the eco full max this is the one that I end up buying as you can see it right here it has pretty high ratings 4.7 out of 5 stars. So, really, please? Okay, anyways. Now, you can do a clip and save right here. Which will... Let me see here. That's Capital One Shopping Rewards. Okay. But yeah, they said that arrives in 4 days. Um... Also, as well, um, it was estimate. I, I think I ordered this on the twenty, no, twenty six. So I ordered it on the twenty six. I got it December first. So that's not bad. That's like five days. That's really not bad at all. Um, because let's see, the twenty six. So I ordered it that Saturday, and I just got it today. So it took about six. Uh, let's see here. Order Saturday. Let's count Sunday as day one. So one, two, three, four, five. So it took about five days to get here. It was estimated to get here on the next Tuesday, anywhere between the 30th and the 6th, uh, 30th of November and the 6th of December. Um, but it actually ended up getting here almost a week earlier than that. So um, shipping was done, I think, by FedEx. It was pretty good shipping. Now, I think I can move this camera and show you the box. Like I said, I'm in a hotel room. You have to excuse the hotel room because I'm in the process of cleaning it up. So, I want to do an unboxing, but the way this thing is, like, okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Do I got enough cord? Okay, yeah. Let me show you. So, that's it right there. So, it comes in this big old box. Like, I thought it was another box in there. I think that's the actual product itself. But let's just say that. Okay, cut that open. All right. All right, so we got this right here. Let's pull this closer to the mic. Ta da! So we got that right there. All right, so it says to keep the original packaging and accessories for return. Okay, let's turn you this way. Let's turn you this way. All right, there we go. Really? Re really? That was over-exaggerated. You know what? I'm glad they did that. 
because it protected the product perfectly. I would rather they do that than anything else. This box I'm gonna put in storage because I'm gonna keep it. Okay, mm -hmm. so it says, fully committed to environmental protection uh, through this product. Okay, you can read that later. So we're gonna take that off right there because from what I heard is that, does this one have it? I don't think this one has it, but oh man this is heavy for its size let's see what comes in here okay so we got the box right there okay let's move the camera back up because we're going to see what's inside that little box right there yeah okay so let's check out the little box right here okay we got this little box right here this is from ecoflow it's nice let's see here It's supposed to charge from zero to 80% in 65 minutes and fully charge an hour and a half, which is pretty damn good. But from what I've heard from a lot of people, if it's charging and discharge at a high rate, the fans are super loud. That defeats the whole purpose. But when they did a decibel reading on there, it was between 50 and 70 decibels on the CMOS channels. Okay, so. We got all these little goodies in this box right here. Okay, we're not using a car charger because I think I damaged my alternator using the car charger for the uh, jack rig. So, okay. So we're gonna open this shit right here. Let's see what all comes in here. Okay, so we got the user manual, duh. Okay, user manual, bam. Uh, you can register, and which I'm about to do myself. And you get a 24 month warranty. I think this one only has, uh, I think it comes with a one year warranty. I gotta double check. Serve with proof of insurance and an insurance claim loss. Oh, yeah, definitely. Get equal for product support and get the latest product we're using. Okay, so we got that. All right, this is a diagram that shows you how you can hook your solar panels up, which I got some SAE solar panels, uh, the Thunderbolt ones. But I got the little connection device thing that's coming in, so I'm going to go ahead and drop on that. Um, yeah, so it shows you how to do that. Do it yourself. So keep that. That's important. Okay, and then we have the... Let's see here. Do not use other cables to charge. Plug directly into an AC wall outlet. This is a 300 volt, 150... 105 degrees Celsius. That's the hottest it can handle. Uh, oh, 14 gauge. Huh, nice. Okay, so this is pretty thick. This is like, supposed to be able to handle at least 1800 watts going through it. So you get that. Um, you get this, I feel like an extension DC cord, I feel like probably for solar panels or something like that. You get the car charger, which, like I said, not going to be using. Um, and then you got the solar charger. I mean, solar cords. Just ignore that last one. So you got the solar cords in there, the MC4 connectors. They have their own right here at let's say xt60 tf so it says it on there so if you need to go to Am amazon actually sells these adapters right here so if you need to get some more um preferably go through ecoflow's website but if not just you can get some from amazon as well uh, i'm keeping this box here because it looks nice it looks like the box you get like gaming stuff in <laughs> like if i'm getting like a you feel like i'm getting a new gaming computer or something okay so let's pick this heavy mother up. Oh. Extra battery port, extra battery port. Oh wow, they put fans that are made in China in here. That's great. It's like 90% of the world's stuff is made in China, and everybody's mad at China for being rich. Well, stop making your stuff over there, then. I thought this was supposed to have the thing you open up and can put stuff on top of it, but I guess not. Um, oh, 
here's the thing. So if you want to download the app, you can click that right there. I mean, scan it with the phone. You can download the app. Um, we're going to give this pretty boy a tour. The reason why I have to pick it up like this is because my other camera takes up way too much data recording. This one doesn't take up that much data, so I feel like I can upload my videos faster uh, and also process them faster until I get a better computer. Okay, so let's look at the other side real quick. So this right here has the two ports right here and right here. That's where you will put your extended batteries at, okay? Plug those bad boys up right there. So that's where those go. Okay. Now let's check out the front of it. Uh, the front has the display. I gotta get this at a good angle. There we go. Um, power button right there. Uh, to turn on the unit. Let's turn it on. There we go. It's at thirty percent. So. It's gonna take 59 hours to discharge doing nothing. Okay, so you have the USB on and off. These two 100 watt USB-C ports, two USB-A fast charge ports, and two regular ports. And that is the screen reset. You press and hold that, resets the screen, but also deals with the Wi-Fi. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna fully charge this up. Then I'm gonna test this bad boy out. And then I'm going to put up a video review, maybe after using it for like a month, and see how it does. Yeah, see how it does. Hopefully it doesn't, oh man. I think the only thing I'm really scared of right now is how loud this thing is going to be when it charges. Okay, uh, but I'm going to download the app, see if I can get at a lower charging speed. So it won't be, the fans won't be as loud. But So I do want to thank y'all. Y'all awesome. Y'all amazing. And like I said, I'll bring a review up on this. But what I'm telling you right now, people, especially to my fellow African-Americans out there who don't be getting up on this, y'all need to get up on this stuff. We know stuff is going to happen. We know they're going to have rolling blackouts. We know there's going to be stuff with the food supply. We know all of this. And so I want to thank my... Uh, Caucasian friends out there for putting me up on game on a lot of this stuff because you know otherwise I mean I can do the research and I can look for it myself which is something I've always been doing anyways and I'm also trying to do a van build but a lot of people who are already dealing with this and already doing stuff like this they're they're putting you on game and that's one thing I would say is uh, and, and this is kind of like a PSA stop all that hatred Stop hating each other because you look different and all that type of stuff and just come together and actually help each other. And like I said, I want to thank a lot of a few of my Caucasian friends for putting me on this and for letting me know that, hey, you know, get, you know, this one's better. We did testing on it. That one's, you know, get this one or at least have a solar battery, at least backup power. Because I tell you, living down south and going through Hurricane Ivan and Katrina was a big wake-up call um, I didn't go through the other hurricanes but I know during I will say this story real quick don't want to make the video too long and I know some of you a lot of y'all have actually experienced this when, the way I experienced I, I was in lower Alabama which is still racist but I dealt with Hurricane Ivan as my first hurricane I've ever been through and for us it didn't feel bad Actually, we were sitting out on the porch when it happened. My mom was just yelling at us. And it was pitch black. We shined a flashlight out there. It was like a black hole. Like, it sucked in the light. That's how it was. And it was like 5-something in the afternoon, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we seen the tornado develop in the back backyard, and all of a sudden, everything just got pitch black. All the power went off. Power went off for at least a week. But they turned on the power in the Caucasian and white people's neighborhoods first. And then, uh, there's this... Uh, lady in my school she's caucasian when i was going to college and she said that her neighborhood is split she's at the end of the caucasian part of the neighborhood and then it goes into the african-american part of the neighborhood she said they stopped at her house because she her house was the last caucasian house on the block and they left 
and she got pissed off because it's like it's 2000 what is 2003 she's like we still live in this type of world where people who work in government are still ignorant like that unfortunately we do so you know when she told her story i thought to myself i said you know what i can't keep going without power like that because that was a lot of food went bad so and i also had to borrow my uncle's generator which his generator is loud he had a gas generator so i thought that hey when i get up on the game get me a this thing is heavy it weighs about 50 pounds um 50 64 pounds somewhere around there but yeah i said at least i got two handles on there get up on the game and basically just start investing in certain things as backup you know make a bug out vehicle so just in case you have to hurry up and leave you can get in your bug out video and jet and just take off so i do want to be thankful for that and i am happy for that so one thing i can say people is that how can i put this i'm trying to think how can i put this um just help each other out you know what i'm saying just help each other out you know also do some research and uh you know just invest you solar battery i think my thoughts just went somewhere because i was thinking about something all right so like i said i am going to test this bad boy out i'm going to charge it fully and oh i forgot about this well, that took my time because yay we got 12 volt charger right there we got six ports right there for ac and does this does this open it opens but this mug is hard to open my goodness i don't want to break it or anything but yeah solar charge input AC car charge speed. I mean AC charge speed. And you got the extreme charge right there. And then you got the overload protection, which is 20 amp max. Alright then. So see you. Talk to you later. I'm about to go charge this bad boy up. Be safe. Cross smack in the face.